God doesn't want us to be afraid, but God also doesn't want us to be foolish. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I wanted to talk to you about something kind of kind of scary going on in my life right now. And maybe by the time you're watching this, you know, everything has gone back to normal. But no matter what you're going through, I feel like there are lots of things that can be kind of big and scary. So like for me right now, the thing I'm kind of dealing with is there's this big virus going around and it's kind of a big deal. But yeah, like they've closed all kinds of stuff because of this virus. Like they closed school, maybe for the whole rest of the school year, which at first I was really excited about. I was like, yeah, no school. How cool is that? But they're also closing all kinds of stuff. You know, the restaurants and they're closing sporting events and, and, and they're even canceling churches. We're having to do church online. And they're saying, don't go visit your friends and especially don't go visit your grandparents. And, and it's got me, it's got me kind of scared. And if you are also a little bit worried or a little bit scared, I want you to know that that is okay. It's okay to be a little bit scared. But you know what else? God wants us to be brave. He does. And you might be saying, well, Douglas, you can't be brave and scared at the same time. Well, actually, I think you can't be brave unless you are scared. You know, when there are scary things going on, there are really three ways that you can react to them. One way to react is just to be super duper mega scared and you let that fear take over your life and nothing is happening but that fear and you're not going to do what God has called you to do. You're not going to do anything but run away and scream or, you know, buy a whole bunch of toilet paper. I don't know. And that is not the right response for when things are scary. I believe that when God says not to be afraid, he's talking about that kind of stuff. Don't let fear control your life. But then there's another reaction where people will, you know, in scary times, they'll just pretend that nothing scary is happening at all. And I feel like that is pretty foolish. Being brave isn't pretending that nothing is wrong. Being brave is doing what you need to do, even when it's scary. You know, I really like the story of David and Goliath to, to kind of explain what it means to be brave, even when things are scary. Because all of the Israelites besides David, every single one of them was too afraid to go fight Goliath. But you know what? Somebody had to fight Goliath. And David was brave and decided that he would go fight Goliath. But he was also smart about it. You know, I don't know that anybody could say that David did not have enough faith. Right? He was a kid. He was a kid and he decided that he would go fight Goliath if everyone else was too afraid to. And he knew that he could win because he knew that God was on his side. And it is absolutely the case that God won the victory that day. It was only because of God that David was able to win. But David still had to fight Goliath. When the king offered David his armor, David said, No, I can't fight in that. That armor is way too big for me. And it only took one stone to bring down Goliath. But David went and picked out several. Not because he didn't have faith, but because he was being smart. For David, the smart thing to do in the situation he was in was to prepare for a fight, knowing that he could win with God's help. And for me, the smart thing for me to do in this whole virus thing is to stay home, spend more time with my family, and more time with God. That's really been one of the cool things about this whole scary deal is, is I, I've got more time at home. It's been kind of nice, actually. You know, I've always thought it's interesting because a lot of the times when an angel shows up in the Bible, it says, do not be afraid, or be not afraid, or however your Bible translates it. But it's always doing something scary. You know, you might be in a room by yourself, and then an angel just goes, boom, be not afraid. And it might be, you know, really bright and, and scary looking. But I think angels can look like what they want to look like. And so I've always wondered why, you know, the angels in the Bible don't just always look like a normal person to not scare people. Right, because we know there are times in the Bible where you know, it says that, that maybe you've met an angel before and you just didn't recognize them because they, they just decided to look like a person. You know, why didn't the angel just look like a normal person, go knock on the door and say, oh, hey, Mary, I'm an angel sent from God. Do you have a minute to talk? Why didn't they do that? If God doesn't want us to be afraid, why were the angels scary? I think that those angels were scary to show the seriousness of the situation. I don't think that when the angels said, don't be afraid, that they were saying, it's wrong for you to be afraid of me. I think that what they were saying was, I know that I'm scary looking, but I need you to be brave and pay attention. 
because what I'm about to say is really important. So yeah, if you're going through a scary situation right now like I am, I don't think that God wants us to pretend that it's not scary. You know, I know that God's in control. And because of that, I know that everything's going to be okay. But it's still kind of a scary situation. And that's all right. I can be brave and do the things that I'm supposed to do. Which for me is pretty simple. I just got to stay home. God wants us to be brave and to be wise. And to rest knowing that he is in control. Everything is going to be okay. Okay.